this wipe I'm going to build a copy of the outpost in the first ever player run monument in Rust. This is going to take many days just to build and cost over 1 million stone and tons of other resources to construct. I spent many hours studying the outpost, trying to figure out just how to build this. And first of all I'm gonna need an area with the space for a 20 by 32 building. And I know this is pretty hard to believe but finding an area like this is no easy task. And I spent many hours just looking through some servers. And I even found a location for Outpost, but they got raided immediately. Wait. Oh, come on, man. I've just started. But I didn't give up on this spot just yet. Then I moved into the snow and I farmed up on everything here. Sulfur, stone, scrap and guns. I made a tier 3 workbench, crafted up explosives and went to take back my base location. There we go. I wanna make this base way more beefy this time. What the f Bro, I'm, I'm done. I'm done, bro. Get get me off this game. Get get me off this game now. But before that, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, Howl. Howl is a Rust gambling site, and right now they are doing a $25,000 giveaway for you guys in celebration of their new game mode Blackjack. And if Blackjack isn't your thing, you can use my code IOK to play over 2000 slots and live games. The wheel, coin flip and more, all for free. They also have a free Rust case that you can open daily and win up to $2000. Check out their $25,000 giveaway, link in the description. Okay, take two. And after the last day's failure, I was pretty pleased that I was able to find a good spot almost immediately. This looks promising. No bases? Yes! Is it big enough? And the base fit perfectly. 18, 19... It fits! Yes! It actually fits! Oh bro, bro, it's taking me so long to get here. Yes! Okay, let's get up this base. And so I started placing down the first base. And I began with this tower that you see to the left as soon as you walk into our post. It's the smallest base in our post and would make for a good starting point. We have it! This is the spot. This is the spot. And so I started farming, getting up a level 2 workbench and then enough stone to completely finish that first base. Okay, base is basically finished. Just need to add a roof, but it's looking good. Then I took a small break from building and headed over to airfield where I got an airdrop, which gave me my first gun. First base done, a lot more to go. Then it was back to hitting rocks. Very boring. Luckily I lived in the snow, and the snow is filled with farmers for me to kill. Ooh. So yeah, to begin with, farming was easy. All I needed to do was go out with the gun and kill some people that had already farmed. Bro, everyone I kill is just filled with stone. I would also need a ton of components for this outpost. Luckily getting most components is really easy and all I did was run the train tunnels. Okay, so that's, that's all the scrap we're gonna need. Then I just continued building on the outpost. Another building done. Let's just keep it going. And as it started getting bigger and bigger, people started taking an interest in what I was building. Jesus. Well, back to building. So much building. All I'm doing is farming and building. And there were way more people than I thought in this area. And I started running into them everywhere. By my base. Oh my god. Running to outpost. Oh. On my doorstep. Oh, you're a bitch. And as I was out farming. People everywhere, bro. And yes, it did give me a lot of guns, but it also cost me a lot of time. And so it was time to pick up the pace. So much stone. <laughs> okay, so we're actually starting to get somewhere. So right now we've made it all the way over to the recycler is the next, next part. Uh, I don't know if you can see. 
But I think it looks good so far. Trust the process. Okay, I would say we're about 40% done now. We're about three days into this project. But I mean, it's just a lot of farming and building, which is very tedious, but it's gonna look nice when it's done, so it's gonna be worth it. Bro, what a rat! Bro, who sees a base like this and thinks, oh, I'm gonna camp that? Building this, I also had to take help from the competition as I bought all my wood from Outpost. I mean, it has to be done, but it doesn't feel good. <laughs> Buying from the competition. Bro, I just realized this, but, but this is huge. Like, what I'm building is actually so big. <laughs> it was actually starting to look like Outpost, and people were starting to notice what I was building. The, do you like what Are I'm you building? Solo man? Yeah. Yeah, you're building outposts. Yeah. But yeah, I think I think we're starting to get to the point now where people are st going to start noticing what we're doing because now it's actually starting to look like outposts. But it had taken me many hours of building just to get here, and there was still so much left to build. Okay. And that's another building done. Bro, we are running through gears. Okay, this is taking a lot of time actually. This took, like, I thought I would be able to do this in like two days. Like, just get up this, but it's taking so long. But as I've been out farming stone, I've also farmed sulfur. And at this point, I had quite the collection. Because all we really need is more stone. So much stone. Bro, I don't know how much stone I've actually used. But it's, it has to be some insane number. And so I slowly started smelting it up and I crafted up a few rockets. But then as I was out looking for a base to raid, I saw this minicopter land on a base nearby. Bro, I didn't bring any ladders. I didn't know how close these people lived and how fast they would come back. And so I didn't want to risk it and go and get ladders at my base. Luckily, I had a secret weapon for a situation just like this. My friend Ownrocker. He was on the same server as me recording his own video. And so I gave him a call. Own. Mm? Can you come to uh, M4 and bring me ladders? Yeah, one second. I just countered a raid. Let me buy it so we don't kill each other. Um. Kill him. Just run back. Yeah, I'll see this land shirt. Oh my god! Yeah, that's a lot of boom. And well, this wasn't a bad base to raid. And so, with the help of Own, we raided it. But the people I had stolen this from wasn't too happy with this, and they started coming back. The people, people, on the roof. He seems like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just down. I'm dead, bro. Just uh, hide, on, hide under, I'm coming. He's dead. We managed to fight them off, and we finished the raid. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Oh god damn it. Man. Oh god damn oh my man. God. What the fuck man. Yeah, not bad for a free raid. And with this, I was pretty loaded. I did however not get any stone from this, which was kind of what I needed. And so, he was back to farming and then building. Bro, my brain is on autopilot right now. Okay, that's another segment. Done. Okay, so we have a bit of a problem. Uh, we have gotten to the point now where this is so big that it's hard to actually keep up with the upkeep. If I'm not careful, I'm gonna be back in the same spot where I was when I built the biggest farm base, where I basically couldn't sleep because I couldn't put in more upkeep than like four hours. Yeah, so right now we have 55 for this TC, and that is going to go up quickly at this point. And then the second building, 
as 40,000. So we are now at 95,000 stone per day. And that is going to go up by a lot. So yeah, the upkeep of this base really started to become a problem. And a ton of the stone I farmed would just go to upkeep. I mean, all of this stone is just for upkeep, basically. And so it was time to up the stone intake and get my hands on some Ortiz. One of these will give you 50% more stone from every node. I first built a farm base in one of the many spaces I had already built. Then I went around the map to try and find a farm base to steal God clones from. And I found just that in a swamp nearby. This looks promising. Oh yeah, this is perfect. And so let's just... Ooh, the tease. Yes! Got clones! Fuck yeah! Let's get the fuck out! That is so perfect! There we go! We got T's. We also needed more space in the TC's for stone. TC's only have 24 slots for resources. And we needed way more than 24 slots at this point. And so using some electricity and conveyors, this was easy to fix. So now we just put stone in this box, and that gets automatically transported into the TC. Hey, okay, we're good. At this point, Own Rocker was also done with his wife. And so, to help me get the last bit of stone, he told me he would farm 5 boxes of stone for me if you went over to his channel and watched his video on this wife. Okay, so right now we have me and Own out farming. And I think together we can get this done in no time. Okay, I think that's all the stone. And with that, I could place down the last few buildings. Okay, that is this section done. It was finished. But one thing I still needed was a lot of gears for all the garage doors and other stuff. And so I first tried raiding for gears, but that didn't really work. Oh fuck. <laughs> bro, where are all the gears? Oh my god, bro, I just want some gears. Every single base I've raided hasn't had a single component. How does that even make sense? Who has a base with no components? And so we was back down to running the train tunnel. And after a few runs down there, I had a lot of gears. And so I placed down the last doors, and we were now fully secure. Ah, uh, bro, this have been such a wild, like, experience, because it's taken me so long. So much longer than I thought it would have. Wait, something is still missing around here. Oh yeah, Outpost has a wall around it. Luckily for me, I had gotten a lot of walls from that one raid earlier. I'm thinking as basically as close as possible. Yeah, like that. Not really perfect, but we take that. Okay, yeah, we need like 20 more walls and it's good. Okay, that's all the stone. Now to craft up the walls. That should be good. Okay, the wall is done. Thank God. One thing I don't like with what I've built is the, the skin on all the doors. Like this is this just looks wrong. Having these kind of doors on, on outpost. I'm gonna try and make it a little more believable. I think either those, yeah, those, those ones looks good. I like that. I also really don't like that. So I'm probably gonna go for something like that instead. So that looks kind of cool. Yeah, that looks fucking nice. Okay, that's that. But there's still one thing missing. We need to secure this outpost. Oh yeah, so the outpost is supposed to be this safe haven where people can shop and interact with each other without the risk of dying. And while there's no way for me to create a safe zone like outpost, I can create a budget safe zone using turrets. Okay, so first we just put down these electrical stations. Here we go, now we just need a few more of those and we can start placing turrets. Okay, we need a few more cameras and computers to finish this off. Who is building? 
Hello? <laughs> That's okay, we're, we're up now soon. I'm having so many people like just come over and check this out. People must be so confused when they run up on this. Just like what the fuck even is this? Like can you imagine just running up on this? <laughs> Okay, we need a few more cameras and computers. And so I first headed over and did the underwater labs, but that's so nerfed at this point that it's rather useless. Well, that's 40 minutes wasted. Doing this for the rest of the turrets would just be so boring. And so instead of farming for cameras and computers, I decided to steal them from other players. Okay, that's, that's one turret. Oh. Bro, I don't- I don't need sulfur, I have so much! <laughs> I don't need it! Yeah, one turret, that's it. Okay, well, time to do more raids. Come on! Bro, what? I don't want rockets. I don't need them. Yes! Cameras. Cameras and computers. Why do I get rockets? Bro, I don't need them. I literally don't need rockets. Oh, look at this. We got some rockets. I don't care. Do you know what we got too? We got the cameras and computers and we can finally place down the last turrets. Boom. Turrets are down. I'm also gonna place down these metal barricades just to like stop people from getting into places they shouldn't be. Yeah, that, that actually looks good. There we go. Okay, outpost is secure. And so now if anyone is being a dick, okay, we need to start filling up the shops with everything that outpost is selling. And Samsites especially, because you can't actually craft Samsites or get it any other way than buying it from Outpost. Basically, they have a monopoly on Samsites. Also, we have another problem where the vending machines actually only have a few available slots for you to use. And so I need to figure out the way using the industrial update to where if someone buys something, it gets automatically transported into the vending machine. And I don't, I don't know how to do that. Okay, so you buy something from the vending machine. Boom. The wood gets bought. And it gets automatically filled up. We take that. That took me so much longer than it should have. Oh my god. Now we just need to replicate this on the actual server. Okay, so this should work now. We should be... Good to go. Let's just try it out, see if it works. So we would go bam. Boom, we get wood. Boom. We get low grade. This should fill up. Okay, we're good. Yeah, and then this get transported into here. All the like extra shit just get transported to here. And so, welcome to the finished outpost. But one thing was still missing, the three recyclers. And so I had Own reach out to Face Punch on my behalf to ask for one. Ern, I have an important question, you can't say no okay? That. Okay, great. So IOK okay is remaking Outpost next to Outpost. Like one to one replica, farmed over, probably one to three million stone. Can he get a recycler for this? Hello, I'll know. Clearly they were scared. I was creating something that would put their outpost out of business and they did not want to make this a fair battle. Anyways, I did a few small things here and there to the base, like I customized my very own sign telling people not to build in outpost, and I also added turrets on the roof to reinforce this. And it was done. And so it was time to open up. Okay, we are officially open. And so I told everyone that we were open for business in chat, and a few minutes later, people started to show up. Hello. Um, maybe I'm giving 
turbine uh, you please uh, jackhammer you want the jackhammer yeah okay okay right there thank you bro goodbye uh, can i have a button please bro bro Thank you bro, thank you. No problem. Need to, need to keep my customers happy. And you know what? For a first day opening, it wasn't half bad. I realized I could give something the outpost just didn't have. And that was outside vending machine trading and customer support. Which was easily the most profitable of the day. Then I just spent the next hours chatting to customers and having fun. Can I have two same sites? Oh yeah, yeah. Hello? I like the base, man. And then, it was time to close up. Hey, man. But before logging off for the day, I started hearing a raid next to our post. And Greek got the better of me, and I stole it from him. Oh my god. <laughs> that guy is not gonna be happy with me. The guy raiding lived in this space here, and he was not too pleased with this. And that very night, I woke up to someone trying to shoot out my SAM sites. Bro, why? I placed these earlier in the day to stop people from MLRSing the outpost. Oh no. Not good. If they manage to destroy the SAMs and then MLRS my base, it would do some serious damage to the outpost. I had to stop them. No! This one replaced. One, one's dead. Easy. Yeah, fuck your camper van. I managed to fight them off and I could replace the SAM sites they had destroyed. Yeah. Oh, but... <laughs> That's it. That guy's dead. <laughs> Just leave me alone, man. There was some minor damages done to the base, but nothing I couldn't fix. And I thought this would be the end of it. But they were not done with me just yet. Bro, let me sleep. Bro, what am I supposed to do? And if someone is determined to break your SAM sites, there's really nothing you can do about it as a solo. It doesn't matter how much you try and fight it, eventually they will break. I even made trips over to Outpost to try and replace the broken SAM sites. But one SAM site cost 500 scrap and so eventually I ran out of scrap. And I knew exactly what was coming. Bro, it is way too easy for them to break my SAM sites that like there's nothing I can do. Oh my god, bro! Oh. I tried fixing up the base as much as I could, but it was too late. I would have to fight them off. Get fucked! Get out of my compound, bro. Finally.
I can secure the base. After fighting them off, I could fix up the base. Okay, the base is finally fixed. We used most of resources, but it's finally... Are you fucking kidding me, man? Oh my god. So yeah, again they hit my base with another MLRS strike. Bro, I don't have any resources. Like, I'm basically out. Bro, all I did was steal one raid from these people. What the fuck? And this time they came with something else to make sure that they could take me out. Oh, well that guy's cheating. Yes, one of them started hacking. Winning this just became so much harder. That guy's cheating his fucking ass off! He's cheating so hard! How am I meant to win this? Wait! The server is restarting! The server was restarting in 5 minutes. If I could just hold out till then, I knew I had a better PC than all of them. And I would be able to load into the server faster than all of them. And I could kill them before they were able to get on the server. Oh my god. <laughs> he died. I need to try and seal the compound. Because if I manage to kill them as they are loading in, I need to make sure they can't ba get back in. Okay, here we go. Restart. Three, two, one. Please tell me these guys don't have good PCs. Okay, that was a fast restart for me. That's good. Yes! That's a cheater. Get fucked. Oh, you're so mad. Oh. And after this, it was finally over. They cut their losses and ran back to their base. And I could fix up my base, which would be a lot of work because I was out of resources. I needed some help. And so again, I turned to Owen. Hello! And he went down to run the tunnels for scrap to replace the SAM sites and I went out to farm stone to fix up the base. And after a lot of work, it was fixed and it was time for some serious justice of my own and i wanted to give these guys a taste of their own medicine i had throughout my time on the server built up quite the collection of mlrs rockets and so we built a base over by the military base and we decided to send over some to their base the best i can get it right yep firing yeah hell yeah <laughs> Oh, it's so broken, bro. Yeah, with 10 minutes, do it again. Ready? Mm hmm Sending! Let's go! <laughs> yes! Last strike! Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that, that, that fucking did it. And for good measure, we finished off the base with some rockets. And the base wasn't half bad. Oh, I don't know this. Scrap, fuck yeah. Add, fuck uh, yeah. Oh my god, more scrap there. Oh, oh yeah. my god, okay, look at that box. The top one. Oh. Get fucked. Grab all the rockets, grab all the rockets, and let's fucking run. Get so fucked, bro. The enemies of the outpost had been dealt with. Easy. Well, don't log off. You're yes, stuck there fucking with someone for seven hours. I think that's a good mm -hmm. lesson. And with that, it was as if nothing had ever happened. But one problem with all this was that I was tired of farming stone for upkeep, for repairing the base, for everything. I had farmed more nodes this wipe than most people will do in a whole year. And frankly, I needed a better method of getting stone. And luckily, with all these raids I had been doing, one of the things I had a lot of was diesel fuel and using this stone quarry one diesel fuel will give you 5000 stone and so i set up a 2x1 next to the stone quarry and i ran that for a few hours what the hell
Okay. <laughs> well, I'm out. Bro, we got so much stone from this. Then it was time to open the outpost again, but it was slow going. I would get one customer here and there, but for the most part, it was empty. Okay, end of second day. Let's see how much we've made. It's not going as well as I'd hoped. Second day open, not that, not that good. I need to do something. I didn't get it. I then looked over to outpost and it was absolutely packed. People were shopping and chatting and outpost were thriving more than ever. Like what more could I do? At the cheapest prices, I had that personal touch I feel face punch outpost was missing. Why wasn't this working? Well, it can all be explained with the mirror exposure effect, or the familiarity principle, a psychological phenomenon in which people tend to develop a preference for things merely because they are familiar with them. Yes, even though I'm cheaper, most people will still choose face punches outpost over mine, simply because that's what they are familiar with. And I guess I also don't have a recycler. But no, it's just because they are familiar with it. <laughs> Whatever, so if I wanted to take Face Punch's business, I would have to take their outpost out of the equation. And for that, I would have to get my hands dirty. But before that, I set up some lighting around my outpost, and I have to say it looked really nice. But how was I going to take out Face Punch's outpost? Well, it's actually rather simple. All I needed to do for this was grab a chainsaw and a tea and farm up a bunch of wood. Then craft that into walls and place them down around our post. Need more walls. Okay, that's the wall done. Then after that, do another lap around our post adding TCs. Boom. Bro, I'm getting so quick at walling off shit. And for the roads, I place down turrets. And just like that, outpost was now unreachable to anyone but myself. And if people wanted outpost, they would have to come to me. And that, kids, is business 101. But my outpost was still missing something. It just looked very very naked. And so I brought in professional base designer Dust to decorate it. Yeah, take this. And go nuts. Alright, that's good. Do my best. Okay, so is it done? It's done. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, this is so much better than looked so naked before. Now it actually has <laughs> some decoration. Okay, so here's everything turned off and I just flick a switch and boom. Yeah, this looks nuts. And before I could even open, some people found their way in and they were very impressed. Very, very nice, very, very nice. Well, it was like coming to check it out to raid, but can't be mad about this. Ain't no way we're raiding <laughs> this. It's too cool. We thought it was a village, not an outpost. <laughs> did you guys wall off outpost so people would come here? I yeah. have a feeling you did. Yeah. <laughs> That's the the biggest brain thing I've ever heard. <laughs> but it had now taken me over two weeks of playing just to get to this point. Yeah, I know. That's a lot. And even though when I started this project, the server was at a decent pop, as time went on, the pop started to slowly go down. And at this point, there wasn't much business to be had on the server. But I still had one more thing up my sleeve. One more thing that Face Punch didn't. And that is subscribers. Wait, how many, how many do they have? Ah, oh, fuck. They have more than me? Okay. I need you to help me overtake them. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, subscribers. So the plan was if I could get some of you guys to start playing on the server, I could use that to take this to the next level and really start to make this a profitable business. And so I turned on my stream. Oh, what do you guys think? And I leaked the server to everyone on it. And I mean, it started out about as well as you would have thought. <laughs> I love you. Thanks. Wait, don't go in. 
that even though it was a shit show, the business had never been better. Okay, what do you have for me? I found this all with a stone pickaxe, man. Very nice. Bro, is he building- Oh my god, he's building a fucking IUK. That's very cool. I was getting richer by the second. I also made sure that the rules were followed. No building. And that any rule breaker got the right punishment. I also captured one of these rule breakers and I quickly put him to work in my tea farm. As sort of an unpaid employee. Very good. But the rust business is a dangerous business. And I had multiple attempts on my life. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, misclick. I tapped. I tapped it. I tapped it. It wasn't. It was a misclick. It was a misinput. Misinput. Calm down. You calm the fuck down. There was a misinput. This was quickly getting out of hand, and I needed some help to keep this place secure. Meet the outpost guard, Onrocker, Dust, Brawlo, and Fancyor. And while Face Punch's outpost gives their guard trashy LRs and hazmat suits, my guard was fitted out with the finest metal armor, an M249, and a rocket launcher. And these guys kinda took over the contact between me and the customer. Hey, fancy, people are cutting the line. You put that spear away, you put that spear away. No, he's gonna kill me. Alright, next, next in line, please, next in line. And the prophet? Well, that just kept Flipped. growing. I've acquired oh, okay. some other stuff, and you know, from from the people, the good people. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're selling all of this. Look over there, over yeah, there, yeah. 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 It's all, it's all. Oh, Thank yeah. you, Ben. But well, I was gonna, I was gonna give you some Ooh. words. But I got, oh, I got the word. Oh yes, bro. Let's go. I okay, we're gonna be rich. Let's go. Let's go. Rich. It's working, bro. It's working. We don't have to farm yeah. anymore. Can I come this, in? Can this I come is in? It. No! <laughs> Why do we keep... No. Stop oh, running in! No. <laughs> and I think the riches had completely gone to my head. But started out as me on the first opening day, chatting with the customer and making sure that each one of them had a great time. Now, when I looked down on them, all I thought was how can I make a profit of them? Is that just what happens when you become a big business? I don't know. But it sure felt nice seeing all that hard work I had put in finally pay off. But the success of a player run outpost had now reached its way to the top of face punch. And I don't think they liked the competition. Got some ammo for it, maybe? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Oh my what god. The hell? Wait, what the fuck? Hello, Omsi. Wait, Holmesy is typing in team chat. Did you really think you could beat us, he said? What? Oh no! Uh, uh Mr. I okay? Should uh, we be concerned about this? I don't know, bro. Uh, oh my God! Why he's right there? Oh my what God! The what the fuck? That's a face punch, Steph. Everything is disappearing. Why did Why did you mess with outpost? Okay, no, why did you I do don't this? Know, bro. Why did you do this? This is your fault. I don't know, you man. You should not made a competition. I, okay, this place is going back to the normal ice like how you first found it, dude. Uh, this bro. Is how you exactly how you found it. Help me to beat face punch in something at least by subscribing down below. Also, I'm recording a video right now over on my own server, IUK Island. Join and you will have a chance to be in one of my videos. Link is in the description.